under the Housing Acts of 1949 and 1954, Middletown's urban renewal dreams were on their way to coming true. The Garfield Redevelopment Project had its beginnings in the fall of 1959 when federal government assistance was received. What were these urban renewal dreams? They were to acquire 50 acres of land at the northwest end of the Armco Steel Industrial Pocket. On these 50 acres were some 300 houses, and in these houses were some 300 families. The city began to issue warranty deeds to the families, which the residents would thereby sign selling their homes to the Middletown government. The city had to create acquisition files that contained a simple floor plan of the home along with a picture of the actual structure. The files would reveal how much the property was worth at the time Middletown acquired the land. Residents were later given a simple three-page packet discussing the future plan for the location of their homes. Why Middletown was an ideal place for urban renewal and a plat map showing which parcels of land were already sold or for sale. Middletown officials created planning documents to convey every single structure on the current land and which of those structures needed to be destroyed. And then later created more documents that showed which houses had already been demolished. The residents of the destroyed homes were displaced but not forgotten. Middletown built public housing for the displaced families, a nine-story high-rise about two miles from the project site. Nearly 10 years after Middletown received government funds, the Cincinnati Enquirer ran an ad for the James A. Garfield Industrial Park to tell all industries of the newly created land that they could utilize. But what ultimately happened to this urban renewal site? Was urban renewal a success? New industry did move to the new industrial park. However, in December 2008, Forbes magazine released an article titled America's Fastest Dying Towns on which the city of Middletown was ranked number 10. The poverty level of Middletown has jumped 10% in the last seven years. The city has been affected by suburbanization, sprawl, and loss of industry. The industry that Middletown once fought for with the implementation of the Garfield Project is declining all across America, and Middletown has been left behind with a workforce that is not prepared for the high-tech jobs of today. Did the fall of industry compel the Garfield project to fail? Did it even fail? Perhaps the few businesses that now line University Boulevard should be considered a success, since new industry did come to Middletown. But now, 40 years later, the Garfield project and surrounding areas look in bad shape again. Is now a time for Middletown to dig up from its past of urban renewal and consider a new master plan for the development? The future alone holds the answer.